search engine optimization and fixing all of that stuff so your website ranks higher can be really hard. I've got a helper for you today. Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And I wanna say right off the top, this video is not sponsored by anybody I talk about today but it comes out of a project I was given to work on some search engine optimization for a client. And so I actually started looking at my own. Now I got to admit, <laughs> I pay zero attention to the search engine optimization on my personal blog. And yeah, even on my own website where I handle the site building part of my business. Not a very good example. Well, I found a tool that is pretty helpful. Now, there are lots of tools like this out there. The one I found that I like offers enough free stuff that is actually pretty helpful. I will say this, all of them are expensive <laughs> and all of them approach things in a slightly different way, but still pretty much come up with the same results. And here it is, ahrefs.com. Everything you need to rank higher and get more traffic. You can sign up for a free webmasters tool account, which is what I did. And of course it gets pretty expensive as I've mentioned. However, when you do sign up for a free account, you can add at least a few websites to the list, depending on how you've connected to Google analytics. And that's pretty much how you sign up. You sign up, connect your Google analytics, give them permission, and it sucks everything in as well as a whole bunch of other information. The reason there are sites like this is because, well, analytics, one, is hard to understand, but two, doesn't have everything in the one place. And that's what these sites do. They make sure they aggregate everything into one place for you. Well, you can see on the screen, I put my personal blog in there and it does have a health score of 97, which is pretty good. A domain ranking of 14, which isn't. <laughs> Referring domains, backlinks, organic traffic, and organic keywords. I'll tell you right now, all of this organic traffic and keywords are based on one page on my site. Nobody looks at my blog and I'm okay with that. If I click into the actual statistics itself, it brings me up to an overview page on the site explorer tab, it gives me the ranking, the strength of my target page, the domain ranking, both of which are obviously not very good. 651 backlinks, 132 referring domains. As I mentioned, 1.6 thousand organic keywords and traffic of about 8.4 thousand. Well, what's really interesting again is not my statistics, but what this offers for free. Backlinks, broken backlinks, referring domains. Uh, you can see all of these here on the left. Interestingly, clicking on organic keywords will give you a listing of all of the keywords that people are searching for. And typically it's ranked by volume and you can see how they rank here. And again, what's really interesting is this is an a PHP script in an iframe that just to calculate how many days you've been alive, which is really nothing fancy. Clicking on the SERP button here gives you how Google will display the results for you. Top pages, again, no secret there. Wherever you come across a section that says this is a paid plan, they gently nudge you, but still give you a decent amount of information. And honestly, it's the organic keywords that most people find hard and struggle with. And what's really awesome about Ahrefs is they tell you exactly what people are searching for, how they find you, and more. Pages, outgoing links, paid search, which I don't use. And of course, if you pay for it, you can export all of this information. Clicking on Keywords Explorer, Site Audit, there are the three sites that I looked at, and that's kind of helpful. Once again, clicking inside there takes you into a site audit page that gives you an overall health score and some other information. Rank Tracker is a paid feature, Content Explorer paid feature, and more. The other thing I really like about these guys is they have a decent academy. They'll help you figure out how to do all of this better, and it's available here, and it's all free. That's pretty awesome. So how much does this actually cost? Well, I'm glad you asked. If I click on pricing, it's not cheap. None of them are. All of these kinds of services are pretty expensive. 
And that's because, well, they offer a service that's really hard to pull together in any other way. If you pay annually, well, again, the light is SEO dashboard explorer, keywords explorer, site audit, rank tracker, and alerts. By far the best one probably is this middle one, the standard one, but it's $166 a month. Now, if you're an enterprise client and you're really, really wanting to do better with your search engine optimization and ranking, then this is actually a pretty reasonable price and you get an incredible amount for it. If you're like me and you don't really even pay attention, yeah, I'm not paying for this. I'm going to stick with the light version. However, if you're an agency and you have multiple clients that you're managing this for, well, then a service like this makes a lot of sense, kind of like watchful.net does for your Joomla and WordPress sites with backups and site audits and updating extensions and more. It's worth the money. All right, so as I mentioned, there's a ton of these services out there, but here's what's helpful. If search engine optimization is a bit of a <sighs> unknown to you, or you struggle in, for instance, getting your keywords right, or even knowing what your keywords are and how you can integrate them better into your site, then these kinds of services can be really helpful and I really found this one to be pretty much the most helpful one that I looked at so far. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release a new video every week, typically about open source, but sometimes helpful stuff like this. Hey, would you mind like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.